Hi, I'm Sophie and I work in customer care here at SmartPack. And I thought today I could go over a little bit of the items I recently purchased in SmartPack and do a little bit of a tack haul today. Um, just because I work at SmartPack doesn't mean I am any less excited to get a package in the mail with some blue pony tape on it, letting me know either something I ordered arrived, my horse's supplements arrived, my dog's food has arrived. So I'm always equally excited to really open anything that says Smart Pack on the outside. Um, I figured I would start by saying, um, I have a horse named Phoebe that I recently purchased in January. She's a thoroughbred cross. She's actually behind us here, she's the bay. Um, I just rode her actually this morning, so I think she'll enjoy hopefully some hay and some rolling for the afternoon. Um, I got Phoebe as a Western Pleasure horse and I'm a hunter rider. So, so far she's transitioning quite nicely and really enjoys jumping. Um, but I am still really getting to know her and kind of know what she's all about now that we have the beautiful weather to continue riding almost every day. Today, I already opened some items that I could not resist um, that were super, super needed. So I guess I'll start with those. One of the items that I kind of opened immediately was the Fungusol Shampoo from Azorbi. And I also purchased their ointment as well as their Fungal Soul Spray. And the reason for that is Phoebe is a very sensitive lady and she unfortunately had a really bad battle with scratches coming out of the winter and into the spring months with how muddy it was and rainy it was here in Massachusetts. Um, so, these items really helped, I think, combat her scratches. I would give her a bath with the shampoo, make sure her legs were nice and clean, wait for them to dry a little bit, and then I would use the ointment in the really bad parts of where the scratches were. And then the spray was nice because that was something I could keep on my stall door. So, you know, before she would come in at night, she would get sprayed out again after getting the ointment after a ride in the morning. What's also really nice is that I got for Phoebe for the first time was Equiderma Skin Lotion for horses. Um, I've used this in the past for a pony that I ride that has a very itchy tail. So I figured it might be nice to have as another product to help combat her scratches, as well as work on her very itchy and dry tail that's starting as you know she was shedding out through the winter months. What's really nice about all the products I got is I did get free shipping since my order was over 75. And because I have supplements on auto ship, this actually would have qualified for free shipping anyways, even if it was under 75, which is really awesome. And one of the other items I got that I actually got on auto ship for Phoebe because she unfortunately came with not the best feet um, was the Caratex Hub Harder. And while we always recommend speaking to your vet, as well as your farrier when you're dealing with ongoing hip hoof issues like I am with Phoebe. Um, I've found really good success so far with this item. It's supposed to be equally as effective in dry and wet conditions, and it's supposed to harden, protect the hoof, and you can apply it pretty much everywhere on the hoof. You just want to avoid the fraud in the coronary band, and it comes with a little tiny toothbrush here, which is pretty cool. So I can just open up the Caratex bottle, I dip this paintbrush in, and that's how I can essentially paint it on our hooves. During quarantine, it's, it was a little bit strange at first here at my barn. I work at my barn, so I was able to still visit with my horses and still see the guys every day. But unfortunately, it made the barn kind of quiet, not to see the normal flow of traffic that we're so used to. Um, so my farm manager and I really took it upon ourselves to really start working on our paddocks and make them, you know, tip top shape for people who are able to come back to the barn and see their favorite lesson horse and get back into the swing of things. So one of the couple things I purchased for the barn was some of our slow feeder hay bags. And I got three of them this time around. And I really like them because they come in so many different colors. So I have different colors from years past. I have some that are going on maybe five years, I believe. So it's really nice to buy something that I know is gonna last, despite you know the daily and everyday use that my the horses here and my horses will you know go through. So I'm always a big fan of the two inch hole openings as well as the four, four flake hay bags. I also really like that it has this really nice gator mouth. So I can really stuff all the hay in there. I never have any issues. It also has some Velcro, but even though I have some that are a few years old, I don't notice a Velcro being any less um, effective as it was when I first got the bags. 
So I'm really excited to put these in our new, uh, you know, in our newly clean paddocks. And then hopefully the horses will appreciate it too because their hay might last a little bit longer. That's the goal anyways. What I also got to go with the slow feeder hay bags is some of these double-ended snaps. I feel like when you work in a barn and you have a horse, um, when you need a double-ended snap, you need it and you need it that moment. So I always feel like these are one of the things that when I notice I only have like a couple left in my tack box, I do like to stock up on them. I get the brass snaps and then I do a value pack of 12. So I'm, I'm hopefully good for a few months now that I have a bag. One of the other items I got kind of as a replenishment uh, sort of thing was I got some Himalayan salt blocks. So usually Phoebe can go through about one of these every month, month and a half, roughly, um, especially if we have one outside in her paddock. So this time around I bought four, so I'm hoping I'll be good through the summer. Um, usually every time I buy one of these, I get at least three to five. Again, I feel equally with the Himalayan salt box as I do with the double-ended snaps. When your horse needs one, you don't want to be scrambling and you know, not know where an extra one may be at the barn. So I like to have a little bit of a surplus. I get the medium size for Phoebe just because it already has the rope. So it makes it really, really easy to attach in her stall or hang it on um, like the gate in her paddock. One of the other items I got that I was super excited about, um, when I first got Phoebe, she had kind of a thinner mane, her forelock wasn't that great and her tail kind of lacked a little bit of luster. So one of the items that I thought I would try was the Equus Megatech Equine Rebuilder. And so this is really cool because first of all, it smells wonderful. I feel like every time I open it, it smells like a little bit of vacation in a bottle and it doesn't leave my hands grimy or anything after I apply it. So I usually give Phoebe a nice bath after a good workout and I'll apply this in her tail, I'll apply this in her mane and forelock, and I'll kind of just let it dry. You don't have to wash it out, which is really cool. Um, and then I usually like to put this in our mane and tail and forelock at least once a week, sometimes twice, depending on how often I've given her a bath or like a really good grooming session. Um, so far, I've been using this pretty much when I first got her. It was one of my first, you know, new horse purchases that I made in January. So I've pretty much been using it routinely since then. I've been really happy with how her mane looks healthier, how it looks stronger, and it has way less breakage than when I first got her. So that's always really exciting to see your product work firsthand. One of the other products that I recently got as well and it couldn't quite fit in the box. Um, as you can tell, I'm a huge, huge fan of the Piper Sun shirts. They fit me really well. I like how airy they are, and I'm also a really big fan of how breathable underneath is. So I figured it might be time to add another color to my collection. So I recently got it in Coastline, which I am super excited to try out. I'll probably wear this tomorrow when I come to lesson before work. And what's really nice about this is if you have supplements on auto ship like I do, you do qualify for the perks promotion. So what that means is any sort of smart pack branded tack equipment or apparel, you can get an additional 10% off just because you have something already on auto ship with us. So for this Piper shirt, if you have you know supplements on auto ship, it would qualify for an additional 10% off. I'm a really big fan of this new color and I think it'll go great with a lot of different color breeches that I own. And then one other item that I almost forgot because I've been using it, it's a little bit windy today here, so Phoebe didn't need it quite yet today, but I got her a Rockin' Smart Pack Deluxe fly sheet. And as you can see, I already used it a little bit so it's gotten some good rolls so far even though she's not a quarter horse she's a thoroughbred cross with a Hanoverian so she does have quite um you know I would say broader shoulders than the average thoroughbred maybe so I really like this sheet because the way it hits her on her shoulders gives a little bit more clearance and she does have a decent barrel so it's not too tight where that belly flat covers and it fits her perfectly as far as length goes. Uh, Phoebe usually wears a 78 in our Rocket Deluxe Winter Blanket. So I got a 78 in the Deluxe Fly Sheet and I was happy with the fit. 
Um, sometimes I find ply sheets run a little bit on the larger side, but in this case for Phoebe, I found that her true blanket size did work for the Rock and Spark Puck Deluxe fly sheet. One of the last items I got <laughs> that was one of those things that I thought I had added in my original order, but realized I left it in my wish list, which I think we've all can say we've done once or twice before, was a pair of Smart Pack socks. The color I decided to try this time to add to my never ending sock collection was the Smart Pack boot socks in popsicles, because I thought they were a fun summer print and I really like how breathable they are. They don't really bulk up under my half traps or my tall boots. And I also really like that they don't, you know, sometimes I've tried tall socks that will scrunch up down at my ankles after a long, hard ride. So I don't have an issue with these, um, with these doing that. So I do like it for that reason. Any one of these products look interesting. Everything will be linked in the notes on this YouTube video, as well as please subscribe to our channel and you can see other tack haul videos as well. Um, and then I hope that you've enjoyed this video as much as I had, you know, making it for you guys. And I hope you, everyone has a wonderful rest of your day and you're able to get some riding time in.